Tell us about Chatham County soils. So um, the reason why Chatham County soils are so important is that um, Pittsburgh and Siler City and now Goldston are the only areas with uh, municipal sewer. And so if you're outside of these areas, you either have some kind of private wastewater system like the Preserve, Governor's Club, Farrington, Briar Chapel, and Chapel Ridge all have private systems. <clears throat> and then if you're anywhere else outside of that, um, you have an individual septic system. And so that's why the knowing the soils of Chatham County is this so is, This is Goldston right here? That's, yeah, G-Town, Goldston. I live right across the street from Goldston. And so, um, uh, so one of the things that we need to know right now is probably some of the most difficult, challenging soils in the entire county is one of the areas that a flood of people are moving to, and it's around the lake, especially especially um, east of the lake. Those are packed, chalky, white, really, really difficult soils for septic. Now, there is some sewer there. I mean, Cary's coming in, Apex is coming in, Durham's coming in. But the vast majority of the property east of the lake is very, very challenging soils. This where? This area right here. Okay. Yeah. So those are those are packed chalky white soils. Meaning um, it's not a good place to have a septic. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> so you'll have to do some kind of engineered septic, which will either be um, like a, a spray or a drip system. Okay. And um, those are between twenty five and fifty thousand dollars right now. So I mean the average home there is like five hundred to six hundred thousand. So it's not a huge deal to have twenty five to fifty thousand dollar systems, but um, that's that's one of the reasons. There's there's some of the larger homes up in uh, Rosemont, um, off of O'Kelly Drive have a hundred and fifty thousand dollar septics for an individual house. But these are eight, ten, twelve thousand square foot homes. I mean these are monster, monster homes. So, so uh, right, right around here in the lake is, is very difficult. Um, and, you know, people say that's why they built the lake there is because it holds water. Well, hold water, holding water is not good for, for septic systems. Our second most populated area is this uh, North Chatham area. And uh, that North Chatham area actually has good soils, but um, it also has a heck of a lot of rock. I mean, we are growing boulders <laughs> in this part. <laughs> and so that's challenging because you have to have the septic lines go between between the boulders. And it can get expensive because um, rock is expensive to move when you're trying to build a house or have some kind of basement. Um, but uh, the soils really aren't that bad here. Just um, a lot of enormous, enormous rock. Uh, one, of, one of the sad things about our county is probably the best soils in the entire county are um, right along Pittsboro and Siler City. And it follow, the best soils in the county fall right along 64. I mean, it's just, if you drive down this road, you'll see red crumbly dirt all the time. That is the best soil. So this, this whole swath right here, it's, it, always, it always makes me, um, a little tear rolls down my cheek when, when I see construction happening in Pittsboro because I look at that red crumbly dirt, and I'm like, oh my God, that's the best soil in all of Chatham County. But we have sewer here in Pittsburgh, so it's not, right. it doesn't matter. Um, uh, same thing in Silver City. But this whole corridor right here is really fantastic soil. It's the best in the county. Then we have uh, the Silk Hope area. And the Silk Hope area is, is hit or miss. We have some chalky white there. We have some rock. But there are, uh, every now and then, good spots in the Silk Hope area. So... Um, I see a lot of grapes being grown in Silk Hope, and a couple apple trees. Yeah, peaches. yeah. I th well, yeah. Peaches are new because you know it used to be Georgia and South Carolina mm. were the peach states, right. and now North Carolina. It was unheard of to grow peaches, but that's a, that's a climate thing. The great thing, the reason why you're seeing some of that in Silk Hope, is because there is some topo, some elevation, and uh, they wanted a little bit cooler, a little bit more elevation. So that's why you see it in Silk Hope. Um, but yeah, also, also the soils are supposed to be good. I mean, there's, um, there's an old vineyard, vineyard just south of Siler City. There's a couple in Silcope and there's a couple out by the lake too. But I think that's more of a, a touristy thing than it is a, um, 
a soils thing right now. <clears throat> the um, the other area, uh, basically this big zip code right here, the Bear Creek area, that's hit or miss. These are a little bit more challenging. Um, it, it, it does have some good dirt and some bad dirt. The problem with like a lot of this dirt, it's shallow and you need 28 to 32 inches of dirt, but um, they don't have that. So, um, and then uh, this is the Southwest corridor uh, area right here. We call it Flatwoods and uh, this, this needs to be a lake. I mean, it, okay. is, <laughs> it is, it is the most challenging soil in all of Chatham. Well, it's probably, it's probably comparable to that 751 area. It just is packed chalky white. And um, uh, not only is it difficult to get a perk site in this area, but um, um, you know, an acre of land in this area is between fifty and a hundred thousand dollars, and an acre of land in this area is between two and five thousand dollars. And so, people aren't willing to make the investment for the septics just because of um, the property values. So, what we're looking for, uh, if you want to know whether or not your property has good soils, we're looking for red crumbly. 28 to 32 inches deep red crumbly you, you can see red and you go oh yeah i got red soil that's good but if it's clay you know if you can actually pinch it into a pot or roll it into a ball that's not good um but uh and if it's if you see a lot of rock or if you see yellow or gray or chalky white that's bad and 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 one of the interesting things about chatham county is here we have alamance county good soils here we have randolph county good soils and here we have Lee County good soils so we're the ones that have the mix I think Chatham County is prettier but um, it is a challenge and we've discussed before the most important thing before you consider uh, purchasing a piece of property is to have the soils evaluated